Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see what is Fourier series of the function. We will also see what is the criteria of the function to be followed so that function's Fourier series can be find out. And finally, we will see how to find Fourier series of the function. So let us see first what is Fourier series. A Fourier series is an expansion of a periodic function in terms of an infinite sum of sines and cosines. It is given by f of x is equal to a0 plus summation a n cos n pi x upon l plus summation b n sin n pi x upon l. Here you can see that function f of x is written as infinite sum of sine and cosine functions. We will talk about a0, a n and b n on further slides. Talking about applications of the Fourier series, Fourier series has wide range of applications but in this video I am going to mention only two. Fourier series is helpful in compressing audio files as well as analyzing signals. Now let us see criteria for expressing Fourier series of the function. Let f of x be the function in the interval c1 to c2 that can be expressed as a Fourier series if in this interval function obeys following conditions number 1 f of x and its integral are finite and single valued f of x has finite number of discontinuities and third f of x has finite number of maximas and minimas these conditions are also called as Dirichlet's condition we can find Fourier series of any function who obeys these conditions. Now let us see formal definition of the Fourier series. Let f of x be any periodic function of period 2 L and follows Dirichlet's conditions in the interval c, c plus 2 L. Then the Fourier series of f of x is given by f of x is equal to a0 plus summation a n cos n pi x upon L plus b n sin n pi x upon L where this a0, a n and b n are called as Fourier coefficients. We assume that the above series is uniformly convergent and can be integrated term by term in the given interval. These a0, a n and b n are given as follows. a0 is equal to 1 by 2 L into integration of f of x dx over the period c to c plus 2 L. A n is given by 1 by L into integration of f of x cos n pi x upon L into dx over the limit c to c plus 2 L. And B n is given by 1 by L integration of f of x into sin n pi x upon L dx over the limit c to c plus 2 L. So if given a function f of x with period 2L and the interval c, c plus 2L then Fourier series of f of x in this particular interval can be given by a0 plus summation a n cos n pi x upon L plus b n sin n pi x upon L with a0, a n and b n's values given by these integrals. Well, the definition that you just saw is the generalized definition of Fourier series of f of x in the interval c, c plus 2L with period of f of x 2L. Now let us find the Fourier series of f of x in the interval c, c plus 2 pi where period of function f of x is 2 pi. All you have to do is simply replace every L in this definition by pi. So we have Fourier series of f of x is equal to a0 plus summation a n cos nx plus summation b n sin nx. To understand this, I will take you back to my last slide. After substituting l is equal to pi, this pi in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled. So, f of x Fourier series will become a0 plus summation a n cos nx plus b n sin nx. Similar changes you can find 
in the definition of an and bn here this cosine function becomes cos of nx and this function will become sine of nx so fourier series of f of x in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi is given by this with fourier coefficients a naught is equal to 1 over 2 pi into integral of f of x dx over the limit c to c plus 2 pi a n is equal to 1 by pi integration of f of x cos n x dx with in limits c to c plus 2 pi and b n is equal to 1 by pi into integration of f of x sin n x dx over the limit c to c plus 2 pi. On the similar lines, you can find out Fourier series of f of x in the interval 0 comma 2 pi. To find it, all you have to do is, you have to replace all c's appearing in the definition of Fourier series of f of x in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi by 0. So when we replace all these c's by 0, we will have interval 0 comma 2 pi. Here these integration limits will become 0 to 2 pi. Here also these integration limits will become 0 to 2 pi. Rest of the things will remain same. So we say Fourier series of f of x in the interval 0 comma 2 pi is given by this. On the similar lines, you can find out what is Fourier series of f of x in the interval minus pi comma pi. To do so, you just have to substitute c is equal to minus pi in the interval c comma c plus 2 pi. So when we do so, we get Fourier series of f of x in the interval minus pi comma pi as a naught plus summation a n cos n x plus b n sin n x with a naught a n and b n having these expressions. Now let us see an example on this. Here question is to find a Fourier series to represent f of x is equal to x square in 0 comma 2 pi and hence deduce that pi square by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square blah blah. Now let us see the solution. Assuming f of x is equal to x square in the interval 0 comma 2 pi obeys Dirichlet's conditions, we will find out Fourier coefficients of this f of x in the interval 0 comma 2 pi. So first of all, let us assume Fourier series of this f of x in the interval 0 comma 2 pi b a naught plus summation a n cos n, n x plus b n sin n x where n varies from 1 to infinity. A naught expression is 1 by 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi of f of x dx. Substituting for f of x that is x square we get a naught is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integration of x square dx over the limit 0 to 2 pi. Evaluating this integration we get 1 by 2 pi into x cube upon 3 over the limit 0 to 2 pi. Substituting these limits in x we get 1 by 2 pi into 8 pi cube upon 3 minus 0. Simplifying which we get it is equal to 4 pi square by 3. This is the value of a naught. Now we find out what is a n. A n expression in the interval 0 comma 2 pi is 1 by pi integral from 0 to 2 pi f of x cos n x dx. Now substituting for f of x and then evaluating the integral will have a n is equal to 1 by pi integration of x square cos n x dx. Here you can use Leibniz rule for evaluating integration of u into v or you can uh, simply go with integration by parts rule. So by using Leibniz rule we get integration of this as x square into integration of cos n x minus derivative of x square that is 2x into integration of this bracket plus derivative of 2x into integration of this bracket that is minus sin nx upon n cube. Next term will be 0 because derivative of 2 is 0. We close the bracket with limit 0 to 2 pi. Those who don't know how to use Leibniz rule for evaluating integration of the 
function of the kind u into v, they can watch my video whose link is given in the description box. Now we substitute these limits in x. So after substituting the limits in x and then simplifying, we get a n is equal to 1 by pi into 4 pi upon n square that is 4 upon n square. This is value of a n. Carry forwarding values of a0 and a n on my next slide. This. Now we find b n. This is the expression for b n. We will substitute f of x is equal to x square first. So we get b n is equal to 1 by pi integration of x square sin n x dx over the limit 0 to 2 pi. We will once again use Leibniz rule to evaluate integration of x square sin nx dx. So we get bn is equal to this. Substituting these limits in x, we have bn is equal to 4 pi upon n. Well, now we have found values of all the Fourier coefficients that is a0, an and bn. We will substitute them back in equation number 1 to get Fourier series of f of x is equal to x square. So Fourier series of f of x is equal to x square is given by x square is equal to a naught that is 4 pi square upon 3 plus summation a n that is 4 by n square into cos n x plus summation b n that is 4 pi upon n into sin n x. This is Fourier series of x square. This series can also be expanded by substituting values of n so that we get x square is equal to this. Now we go for deduction part. To deduce this equation that is pi square by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square and so on. We have to substitute x is equal to pi in the Fourier series of the x square. So the moment we put x is equal to pi in this Fourier series, we get x square is equal to, we get pi square is equal to 4 pi square by 3 plus 4 into cos pi by 1 square plus cos 2 pi by 2 square plus cos 3 pi by 3 square and so on minus 4 pi into sin pi by 1 plus sin 2 pi by 2 plus sin 3 pi by 3 and so on. We all know that sin pi, sin 2 pi, sin 3 pi are all 0. So this entire bracket will become 0. Cos of even pi is always 1 and cos of odd pi is always minus 1. So we get pi square is equal to 4 pi square by 3 plus 4 into minus 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 2 square, minus 1 upon 3 square, plus 1 upon 4 square and so on. Simplifying which, we get minus pi square by 3 is equal to minus 4 into this. This minus minus gets cancelled. Taking this 4 on the other side, we get pi square by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 square, minus 1 by 2 square, plus 1 by 3 square, minus 1 by 4 square and so on. Hence the deduction. I hope you understood what is Fourier series of the function, what criteria function should satisfy so that its Fourier series can be find out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.